Adam Levecki here, glad you're with us. I wanna share something briefly about something I see God doing, I'm excited that he's doing, and something he's actually commanded us to do. For a long time in America and in the West, we our goal has been to make believers, where we go, we share the gospel, and we want people to believe. And our churches generally are filled with believers. And we have believers trying to make disciples and usually it doesn't work. Actually, it never works because a believer can't make a disciple because seed only reproduces after its kind and only a disciple can produce a disciple. Jesus told us to go into all of the world to preach the gospel, which that makes a believer. But then we can't leave them as believers because Jesus is not looking for believers. Jesus is actually looking for disciples. He commanded us in Matthew 28 to make disciples of all nations and we cannot make disciples of all nations if we don't make disciples in our churches and we have to understand that God calls us to preach he saves God calls us to heal but it's his power God calls us to baptize but he sanctifies and God calls us to make disciples and he says he'll build his church and the very gates of hell will not prevail against it and so it's it's essential that we are in tune with what the Spirit is saying and what the Spirit is doing and I genuinely believe that in this time that we find ourselves in God's original intent when Jesus said come and follow me he was not looking for a cheap verbal profession of faith he was looking for people who were totally given to himself and the gospel and the only difference between a believer and a disciple is commitment God is asking us will we be all in he's looking for disciples my encouragement to you is will you are you willing to go from a believer to a disciple or if you're a disciple are you willing to make disciples to make yourself available to help teach people in the ways of Christ to demonstrate the life of Christ in your life in your family in your church in your neighborhood in the city that you're in in your workplace do people learn Christ when they see you and and I've got to ask myself that very same question it's a sobering question but it's disciples who are dependable. It's disciples who turn cities upside down. It's disciples who are willing to be accountable, who are willing to be teachable. And it's disciples who really inherit the earth. The Bible says the meek inherit the earth. They transform their world. And they do that through the teaching and through the power of Christ. And so I encourage you to get on board with being a disciple. And, and the only way disciples are made is in the context of thrusting and pushing forth the gospel. Disciples are not made in church, and disciples are not made by watching this video. Disciples are not made in a prayer meeting. Disciples are simply made as they obey Christ and go into all the world. That's the only way Jesus made disciples, was in the context of the gospel of the kingdom going forward. And so I encourage you to become a disciple of Jesus and to make disciples.